31 degrees now in downtown Seattle. 840 back to Steve Sanders now, 710 Cairo, real-time traffic. It's a city known for its clouds, computers, and coffee. In Seattle, good morning. But take a ride north of town and you'll find hidden in this hangar what could be the key to preventing this from happening again. Move it! Come on! There is indeed the public perception that airplanes could still be used as weapons. Howard Glover is the senior flight safety engineer at Honeywell Aerospace's Seattle division. He says they've developed technology that can stop a terrorist from taking over a plane and crashing it into a building or mountain. The system will know that the airplane is being steered towards somewhere that it shouldn't be going. Caution. And will automatically take over the airplane and maneuver the airplane towards, let's say, a designated airport. Caution. Terrain. Where it, it would be safe to land. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. It's called the Assisted Recovery System, and Honeywell has been working on it full throttle for the past year and a half. CBS 5 News was invited up to Seattle for a test flight and demonstration. We climbed aboard this Beechcraft C-90 eight-passenger plane. Everybody ready? On runway. And off we went. To show you just how this airline safety system works, right now we're about 60 miles north of Seattle at about 7,000 feet. Our pilot has us headed right towards a mountain. We're going to line up and, and fly toward the peak of that mountain. And you can see the large peak directly in front of us. Once the plane gets about a minute away from the mountain, a warning will sound, Caution. letting the pilot know of the danger dead ahead. And you can see it out the window and also on the terrain display here. If the pilot doesn't change course, an autopilot takes over, flying the airplane away from the threat. Caution, terrain. But as the warning occurred, we can see the airplane pitch up and start to turn left away from that threatening terrain right out in front of us. So the assistant recovery system is now flying the airplane, uh, turning left and climbing away from that mountain peak. Right now we're flying the airplane from this laptop computer. The technology is run through a software program similar to a GPS system in your car. Terrain, terrain. The computer has a map of all the buildings, mountains and structures around the world, so it knows when the airplane is headed for trouble. Honeywell engineers believe this technology can be used to prevent terrorists from taking over commercial airlines. The concept of having this in aircraft could be a deterrent. The only problem is there are pilots who don't want it. Honeywell Chief Pilot Marcus Johnson tells us pilots don't like the idea of something on board that would take away control of their airplane. At the end of the day, the pilot feels that he should be able to control the airplane under any circumstances as a last resort if all the automation fails. One option might be giving pilots a secret code or kill switch that would shut the system off in case of a malfunction. Terrain. There's also concern about cost. The airlines are not exactly making a lot of money these days. Terrain. Pull up. Honeywell engineers insist they can make the technology effective and affordable. And if it can stop a terrorist takeover, Caution. they're convinced it's worth looking into. Approaching 1-6 right. We've definitely been putting more effort into this particular program since 9-11, yes. 710 Cairo in Seattle. Good morning.